Welcome everyone. My name is Nichelle Anderson. I'm your host for my podcast show, Nichelle Anderson, Short Stories and Beyond. And this particular episode to be published on March the 4th uh, for episode 43 entitled, Rulin Speaks Upon the New Rule. So in this particular episode, we're of course picking up from the last episode that focused on ruling something happened thereafter i think that was a reveal that you have to be a patron to be able to get what happened thereafter but the part that i did release was where he met up with grandfather tahib so we're going to fast forward on that in this episode uh, this particular podcast is a premium podcast if you want to get the full short story i do most release clips snippets you will have to be a patron member and i have the direct link to my patreon page so you can click on that get the info and you can get the full short story like more information that i'm revealing in in the short story okay so at any rate to move forward in this this particular podcast of mine is mainly based on my theatrical productions one in particular is mole and that's from my book mitch ram a memoir that production mole is currently in the phase of preparing for the prestige return of mole stage play once those dates are announced i will put that on blast and about the play will be the third time we're turning back to stage so right now we're going to focus on this particular episode where the highlight again is dealing with Rulin that episode where the last time I featured Rulin was episode 31 in this season 2 2018 and 2019 episode 31 entitled in the Sedan many secrets went deep to the afar of old so again that's where Elder Tahib, who is the father of Queen Haga, that of course is the mate to King Malan of Mitzrayam. And Tahib agreed to go meet Rulin. He actually wanted to meet again with Queen Haga, but of course Tahib and King Malan um, agreed that Tahib will go as representative of Mitzrayam to find out what's actually going on with the tribal leaders. There has been unrest. When I started this podcast, it came up to me in a sense that it was a major war that went went on that happened and where King Milan was severely was really hurt very severely in that sense and that there are still people want to overtake Mitzrayam. So something about the Asta of Mitzrayam. I kind of talked about that term last season and it is coming up here and there in this season too. What is the Asta of Mitzrayam? You have to stay tuned to find out <laughs> and get some clues to what that's about. So Rulin, of course, he is a um, tribal leader, it seems, in the military stance. When you get that episode or when you read up or go back and listen to episode 31, um, it'll give you a feel of his position of rank. Now, when he was, when he was first rolled out last year in, in season one, where it was towards the end of the season. So I don't really have that number, but it's pretty much where Queen Haga remembers she remember before and that's where he is he make his debut ruling and we have the general Tukan or the general I should say that is taking Queen Haga to go meet Rulin that's before the war it seems that happened and that she's trying to get information to, so she can help her mate so she can help King Milan it seems like there's a past between them two perhaps a relationship or what have you and um, so there's old memories there and but she's there on the mission of the state of Mitzrayam and Rulin seems to know some things about that so fast forward the last to give you a recap for the last episode of Mole because this month we were turning back to Mole the last two months I was focused on other short stories and this month starts off us returning back to Mole to the end of this season of season two so the last episode of Mole was in December okay the last Monday in December and that was episode 42 entitled when love was divine so you can check that out that's when you have a moment where Queen Haga is with her daughter Princess Hannah Hannah is the older sister of Princess Aminia and remember Princess Aminia if you just following me is really the main character of my book Mitzrayam because Mitzrayam the book is what started all this up until now stage plays the repsos the different theatrical productions that 
I have done, the short film, now this podcast. The podcast is actually starting off before the time of Princess Amelia birth. So we just, at this stage, we just have Princess Hannah. And she's a young girl, of course, young princess. And so in this particular scene, episode 42, she's with her, her mother. And they're talking, and then there's a letter that is being delivered so that's where you get when love was divine and that's basically king milan sent a message to queen Hagar because king milan left and is in deep of the sedan following up in this grand meeting of all of these leaders and they will be surprised because king milan returned to his throne after getting well and so she's still concerned because she's know there's others out there his adversaries still want to do him harm of course she is still at this time pregnant okay you see that closeness and that ease of you know still moving forward with her mate but still be concerned for the person that she cares very much and so check out that episode as well so let's go ahead and get started with this episode this would be a clip snippet there will be a reveal at the end if you want to get that reveal uh, please consider to be a patron member of this podcast so let's go ahead and get started and also don't forget i do have apps you can check that on google play or in the apple store for this particular podcast you could download that app for free okay download it and support this podcast show so let's begin for this week of my season two podcast show, Nichelle Anderson Short Stories and Beyond. For this week, episode 43, entitled, Rulin Speaks Upon the New Rule. Opening scene. In the main level of the rule of Natu, he felt pleased as he looked out to the grounds deep in the south of the Sedan, west to the Congeto Council area, deep in the south of the Sedan area. After seeing his captive prisoner, many Aspu before, he felt assured securing his borders to keeping his whereabouts on track for his next move to announce his position of authority. Now since Echo is no more. There were other meetings of the tribes of the west of the Sudan that occurred up until this moment that further assured Natu's decision to move forward in his mission of the Astar of Mitrayam. But he was concerned of one leader that decided to enter in his territory to speak of something, of a disturbance known coming from the north before closing his borders as Natu got word that someone was on the hunt for him. The message was sent from a female messenger that he remembered many Aspir ago, and he pondered it over and over of his next move. Suddenly he heard footsteps of others coming closer. Natu was dressed in his Orion military attire, and he suddenly turned around to face them as the footsteps became even more louder as they approached his interest to his domain of rule. One of the Natu high rank officers spoke with a surety. I bring you Rulin from the tribe of the Sedan of Threes. Natu nodded for the officer to leave them alone. Rulin eyed Natu before speaking. I see the fear when you this day. Natu shook off his claim to turn as he went to pour himself a glass of water as well as another for Rulin. He took a sip as he motioned to Rulin to do as such. None for me, this Apsu. I come to you as I learn of your retreat from securing your borders. I am pleased you let me enter before your full closure, Rulin said. Natu responded, It is of those in military stance to succeed and prepare for what's to come. Forward. Rulin did not trust Natu as he looked straight ahead before responding with sage wisdom. In these parts of the Sudan in the Deep South, alliances are hard. Your position to align my forces with yours are unclear against Mitzrayam. Natu nodded before sipping 
some more of his water. I have something of value for Mitzrayim that can change that. Ruling quickly eyed Natu before he sat down to absorb his words. There is word of a prisoner captured from the war of Mitzrayim. That person was given to you, true or not? Natu quickly eyed Rulin that seemed like eternity before Natu could respond. When one of his top guards motioned him to come closer to the door entrance, and Rulin heard the word Lanko approaching Nea, Natu turned to Rulin and nodded before speaking. In a few, I will return back. I hope you would think to approve of our alliance from the north. Natu left with the guard as Rulin stood up and heard their faint footsteps further away. Rulin thought as he went to his personal guard just outside the entrance to whisper in his ear. He said to him, This is an old domain of a ruler I knew long ago. Visit the Danoa that is deep in the tunnel below us before waiting at the main entrance as I leave here. See if you see anyone there or others. His most trusted God nodded before walking past Ruling. Meanwhile, Lancome made it over to the hills of the Mini in the south of the Sudan with many soldiers following him from the Etuo tribe as mentioned in episode 35 and it is a Etuo tribal leader as the brother of Sanel, a well-known adversary of King Milan mentioned in season 1 episode 6 that on this mission to capture Natu, it will be mighty for all in the skies of Orion. Lanko motioned a few to start their one end from the south after learning a few absolute records that no two This concludes this week clip snippet for this episode. If you would like to listen to the full story, please visit my Patreon page. The information will be in the below description. Mostly every week, I will release only the clippet of the short story. And once you become a patron, you will have access to the full short story. What's going on next? And I do plan to release more director clip notes as well as a bonus of releasing a story. Thank you again for joining my podcast this week. Of this podcast, Michelle Anderson, Short Stories and Beyond. So long. <laughs>